evaluate the summations and products in 33 to 36 for the indicated values of the variable. Now, right here, we have the expanded version of the series. The first term is one over one squared. The second term is one over two squared. The third term is one over three squared. And the last term is one over n squared. Now, what do we get when we plug in n equals one? Now, this might seem confusing because if we plug in n equals one into this last term here, this means that our last term is one over one squared, which begs the question, what about these terms? How do we go from one over one squared plus one over two squared plus one over three squared plus dot, 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 plus one over one? How do we fix this, what seems to be a paradox? Well, when we're in the expanded form, it's important to understand that the last term here really dictates how far along this dotted path we go. So if our last term is one over one squared, that means that when we write out this portion of the summation, we need to stop when we get to n equals one, which means we need to stop right after we write down the first term, which is one over one squared. So this is the summation when n equals one, which is just one. I know that seems a little weird because it seems like we're ignoring these middle terms, but these middle terms are just a way of explaining what those terms would look like if n is really large. But if n is small, like n equals one, then these terms are not actually useful for us. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.